Welcome back to another look. I'm here with Lieutenant Colonel Clarence Jameson, living history, a Tuskegee Airman. The movie, Red Tails, what is your opinion about that? You told me that you haven't seen it, not sure if you plan to see it. What do you think about it? Well, my initial reaction is that our story as the first black American pilot, the 99th Pursuit Squadron, has been hijacked. <laughs> You to miss this war. We're given hand me down planes. I feel like I'm flying my grandfather's Buick. <laughs> they got us out here using planes to mop floors, fellas. Get your head up, son. You fighter pilots. Train, 11 o'clock. It's military. Let's give those newspapers something to write about. Gotcha! We've done every low-down, dirty job you've handed us. You have not assigned us a single forward mission. You're just gonna have to suffer a failure. We have a right to fight for our country, the same as every other American. So you shut us down, or you let us fly. If I get you the mission, your men have got to come through. We need to change the way we fight. I need pilots who will put the bombers ahead of themselves. Can you help save lives? At all costs, you protect the heavies. Fighters, four o'clock, stay with the bombers. Whoa! It's a trick flying, only get you killed. Or make me an ace. Right like that. Boom! Eight German fighters or 80 still doesn't change what I think of you and your boys. We don't care. We count our victories by the husbands we return to their wives. By the fathers we give back to their children. To the last minute, to the last man we fight, we fight. Yes, sir. Junior, get out of the plane. How do you like that, Mr. Hitler? The expectations placed upon you men are high. Heavenly Father, we ask that you send your angels down to surround us as we fly through the sky. Do adversity to, to the, the stars. stars! From the last plane, to the last bullet, to the last minute, to the last man, we fight! We fight! We fight! We fight! We fight! We fight. We fight. We fight. Red Tail Fighter Group, the 332nd, they were just coming to Italy in January of 44. You, in a sense, you had already been there, done that. Been there, done that uh, for a year. I've lost some of my best friends. I got killed the year before in 43. I lost three of my friends. Sherman White, one of my, uh, my buddy back to the University of Chicago. He was killed in June of 43 when Charlie Hall shot down the first German plane. And Sherman White never came back from that mission, and Jane McCollum never came back from that mission. So this is part of black military history, which I think is being getting lost in the story about the Red Tails. The Red Tails, and I know most of them, I trained some of those fellows. They were in the 330 Section Fighter Group, my group, the Squadron 99, had been overseas for almost a year before the uh, 332nd came into the war zone, into combat. So I, they have a good story to tell, and I'm, I'm proud of them, and I know a lot of them. But I don't want our initial contribution to be lost with your with the history uh, that that you that you um, you bring to the table, um, you you a lot of people have used your 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 pictures. You've seen like uh, calendars like this one here, Red Tail. Now and then, um, you were saying that your image has been put in a lot of things, and you haven't gotten one check in the mail for it. Yes, no. no uh acknowledgement and, and in fact uh, 
and we very seldom even consulted about the, the history which we were a part of. And there are not many, as, as you said initially, not many of us left now at, at my age, but there is a lot of history that I am happy to get a chance to uh, share with you and your audience. And, and I think it's important because, uh, like the Red Tails, although, you, as you said, um, those gentlemen would be commended, we just want to make sure that all of the history is told, right? <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> all right. And if you're interested in learning more about Lieutenant Colonel Clarence C. Jameson, there is a book about his life, Memories from Tuskegee, as told to James Christ. There is more information in this book. Uh, you can learn more about uh, the 99th um, Squadron and just read his life story from growing up first being born in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas and then moving to Cleveland then going to the University of uh, Chicago and then to Tuskegee and then going to World War II. His story is truly, truly amazing. Want to learn more about Mr. Jameson again prior to the Red Tails, although Mr. Jameson says he has nothing against the Red Tails because those gentlemen did a great job too, but if you want to learn more about or just learn period about what happened prior to the Red Tails, please pick up his book, Memories from Tuskegee. Thanks so much for joining us today for another look. We'll see you next time.